Hi everyone, my name is Wilfred Mumbo, Site Engineer Projects. Today you're going to learn how to install Oriental and Versatile for Mabachi rolling mills. Come with me. So today I'm joined by my colleague, Elliot. He introduce himself. Uh, thank you, uh, Engineer Mumbo. My name is Elliot Mwangi, an engineer at uh, MRM. So the first thing we do is to make the structure of the building. Our structure is made of uh, a truss pan, light gauge steel from MRM. This is the truss, and then we have the pallets here. So when you are doing your pallets, you have to know uh, the pallet spaces that you are going to use. Because our sheets are spaced 300-300 uh, steps. So first of all, I'll have to measure whether the, the, the structure is well installed. So it should be 600 from outer side of this part and in, inner side of this part. Number one, you have to consider the pitch. So when you are doing the structure, do at least 32.5, which is the minimum and above. Some of the challenges that Fundi experience is that uh, after installing, it may maybe sometimes screws, uh, leakages happen. That might happen because of by the virtue the Oriental has a very short leap. If there's any misalignment on the roof, that's where the leakages is going to happen. Oriental from Mabati rolling mills comes in a wider profile. We say it's approximately one meter. It has five crests. As you can see, it's one, two, three, four, five. And please check out on this embossment, MRM. And then on top of that, try and ensure after every one meter, on the underneath, you're going to see an inkjet print. So these are the information of the gauge, uh, the material, whether it's CQ or full hard. Uh, there is a aluminum zinc coating, uh, the date of manufacture. So to start installation of our ships, we have to check the, the prevailing uh, weather conditions. That means where the wind is coming from. And you have to install your sheets against the direction of the wind. Assuming our wind is coming from this direction, so we'll start installing our sheet from this side. For laying the first pallet, just make sure that you've taken care of your gutter overhang. And that one should include your fascia, which is normally around one inch and then uh, a short length of at least 50 millimeters to go into the gutter. Since we highly recommend to use screws, we're going to require a drill. We have uh, self-drilling screws uh, by the brand name Fixtight. We have longer ones and short ones. So the short one is a stitching screw. We're going to demonstrate how it works. So this is a battery operated uh, drill. The drill has three functions. It has hammer, it has drilling, and it has screwing. So for this application on your roofing uh, with light gauge, we're going to recommend uh, this function of drilling. So the drill has torque. Torque, I mean, uh, it's like a gear. It has one and two, and then it has also the speed. You can also increase the speed or reduce the speed, depending on the expertise of the funder. So you check the alignment of your pallets. Uh, fortunately, if you're using light with steel or ultra span, the planes are usually uh, near perfect, so you don't need to worry so much. So for the first sheet, we highly recommend you do the screws on each and every crest, and I'll show you how to do it. When you're doing the drilling, you have to ensure that the rubber washer from the screw is not damaged, damaged when you are doing the because if it is damaged, there will be some leakages around that section. For the advantages of uh, using a drill, you are able to control how fast you are driving the screw. Thank you, Mumbo, for doing that. Uh, you have noted that we have done screws on all the crests for, for the lower side, the eave side, because of the up uplift of the wind. So next, we are going to install uh, screws on this upper side, and this side we can be able to stagger, because we are not worried about the up uplift of the wind. So you realize if you arrange your pallings well, it allows you to fix the screw on this lower step. It makes your roof aesthetic because the screws will be kind of camouflaged. The stitching screws is thick to ensure that uh, two sheets are well attached to each other. And they, all, uh, they also have a rubber washer to make sure there's no leakage along that area. After doing your stitching screws, you ensure the sheets are well attached to each other and you don't expect any leakages. Your roof is 100% and this is your roof for the oriented sheet. If you arrange your pallings well, 
uh, just make sure you utilize the rigidity of these steps. We have our hex cap, which uh, match the, the color of the sheet. Just press on top of the screw and apply some pressure and it will fit in like that. This will camouflage your roof and uh, you will not be able to see the screws. After doing your stitching screws, you ensure the sheets are well attached to each other and you don't expect any leakages. Your roof is 100% and this is your roof for the oriented sheets. At MRM, we are open, we do estimates for our customers. So you can send us your drawing and we'll give you the number of sheets that will be required, your ridges, flashings, valleys, and also we will be able to give you an estimate of the screws. Steal the show with versatile, oriental and elegant tile steel roofing tiles. Backed by a genuine warranty only from Mabati Rolling Mills. Visit a dealership or call us today at 788 202020